What's up everyone, it's day 7 of Big Brother 24 and the first eviction is drawing nearer. Now it's been a week of negativity towards Taylor so we've been trying to have some more positivity with Elle this week on TV Talks with Tom. A little less mock and Taylor, a little more respect please. Paloma's going crazy, she needs to rest at ease. A little more nice, a little less dark, Alyssa thinks Newark is Denmark, so educate yourselves and start respecting Taylor. Don't be a failure. The song pretty much says it, folks. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. All right, folks, now right before we get started, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and also please hit the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live on the channel. Alright folks, now, just before we jump into today's live feed update, um, I keep saying, you know, over the past few days about how there's been negativity towards Taylor, that doesn't really change, but um, there is conversations around mental health today, folks, so just prepare yourselves for that one, um, as that is a very um, kind of important thing to bring up in regards to Paloma's behaviour and her actions in the house. So, um why not delve right into it? So, Paloma, I'm seeing viewers talking about her going crazy and, and saying that she's, you know, going off the rails. And we've even seen house guests literally saying, Paloma's going crazy, I think her mind is breaking, etc. She continually talks about how she believes that, and I don't even think it's like a joke. She talks about how she believes that they're in, like, Inception right now, like the movie. And she believes that we're in a simulation, being in the house... And she's going around and she's not even joking about it. She has like not let up for it for a few days now. And I am like shocked at what she's coming out with. She was talking about how she like needs the Harry Potter invisib in um, invincibility, not invincibility, invisibility. I should know this. I'm a Harry Potter fan, an invisibility cloak. And um, she was saying something about like we're all superhuman Elon Musks. And she's coming out with really random stuff. And... We've got half the audience kind of going, this is Paloma, she is kind of just bat crazy, is what people are saying, I'm not taking a stance yet. And the other side of people going, Paloma's having a mental health crisis, and people are relating it to withdrawal symptoms from certain things, etc. I know Janelle spoke on it on Twitter, she was saying that, you know, that Paloma wasn't allowed certain medication in the house or whatever, um, and she's having withdrawal symptoms from it. I don't know how Janelle would know that. Maybe Janelle's just looking at the signs. Um, I would assume she is because that's the only thing you can really do in this situation because Janelle isn't part of production, obviously. But it seems like Paloma's kind of all over the place and she she doesn't stop talking either. You'll see a group of house guests having a conversation then Paloma will enter the room and she'll just talk and talk and talk and talk. I was making um, I was making dinner yesterday and I was had the feeds on at the same time. And I was really enjoying a conversation Taylor was having with, um, I'm trying to rack my brains of who it was. She was talking to a couple of people, either way, whoever it was. Um, and she was having, so, it was so nice. And I was thinking how on earth Taylor's got this reputation of her being cold and icy and all that kind of stuff when she was literally so devoted and dedicated to this conversation about family and life. Either way, Paloma comes along and then she talks and talks and talks and makes it about herself. And, I mean, one side of me can just straight up say, yeah, I don't like it when people do that and make everything about themselves. It is annoying. But then the other side of me, slightly concerned if she could be having a mental health crisis because she truly believes that she's in a simulation right now. She actually does believe that from what she's saying. And um, the fact all the other house guests are noticing it as well, we'll get onto something a bit later, that is potentially looking like could be a potential intervention for Paloma. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens there. But that's something to bring up for sure that Paloma could actually be having a mental health crisis in this house right now. Now Taylor continues to be the target this week so some low-key campaigning kind of has happened but nothing too major. It's pretty much settled. We know that they've ganged up on Taylor and they want her out. So Paloma obviously is kind of the big talking point at the moment because she doesn't shut up and she was just going on about how like they're in the metaverse and we're about to take down Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff. Just coming out with random stuff that you would probably come out with when you're high. Um, or someone would come out with when they are high. I, I, I it's, uh, that, that, that's what it comes across like anyway. And obviously Paloma isn't high. She doesn't have access to any of that kind of thing while she's in the Big Brother house. So she's doing that off her own back, which is the concern and thing. 
that's why people are concerned about her. I think she's going through some kind of crisis. I would not be surprised. But anyway, let's talk about Taylor being targeted. So, the backstage twist is something that I know 95% of us are clinging on now for dear life uh, with hope that Taylor will somehow prevail this week. Um, like I've discussed earlier in the week, there's one side of me that makes me want to go, Taylor, go home for your own sanity. I would like to see her evicted. And then the other side of me goes, I really want to stay and stick it to them, win head of household, take the power and flip this house on its head. So let's talk about this backstage thing because the rumour is on the street that America will save one of the three girls who were backstage, so that's Brittany, Alyssa and Paloma. I think Brittany's probably going to be saved from the overwhelming support that she seems to have, unless the casuals are going to fly through and save Paloma. Um, We'll see what happens there. And then Pooch uh, will then have to decide one of the two to go up against the evicted house guest. They'll do some kind of battle back situation. The person who wins the battle back becomes the backstage boss and um, therefore will be safe to week three. And then the person who loses the battle will go home. Now, that again, that is just a rumour right now. It's not certain. But when I saw that rumour, I thought, oh, my God, this is this is crazy. Because I was seeing people talking about it on Twitter. Um, I hope that's the case. I do hope that's the case. Obviously, we don't know. My fingers are crossed for that. Because then if it's Paloma versus Taylor, I feel like Taylor's head is going to be in the game more. She'll be able to take out Paloma. Then Paloma will be our first evictee of Big Brother 24. She can probably go outside and get the help she needs. Uh, and also, she'll stop the ringleading bullying towards Taylor, which will be absolutely wonderful. Taylor will hopefully become the backstage boss and be safe till week three. Mwah, that would be absolutely beautiful. I'm holding out on hope for that. So, folks, all hope is not lost yet. But again, we don't know if this room is true, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow night to find out. All right, now for a potential intervention on only day seven. Uh, Joseph, Jasmine and Alyssa were in the bathroom and they were talking about potentially staging some kind of intervention for Paloma as they are seeing she is really getting out of hand. Um, the word intervention wasn't actually used, um, but it was in essence an intervention in the fact that they were going to step in and talk her down and, and, and try and talk to her and, you know, say, look, there's something wrong here. That is an intervention, folks. Um, Joseph and Alyssa kind of stemmed the conversation first. And Joseph was saying, because I think he mentioned something about his mom having anxiety uh, herself. And he is noticing a lot of similar patterns of when it gets really bad. So he's putting two and two together. Apparently, Alyssa's going to try and talk to her first. Jasmine was going, oh, really? Is this the case? Etc. So, yeah. I mean, it looks bad. It's only a week in and they're talking about a potential intervention for Paloma. She might be gone tomorrow night, folks. That's 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 the thing. She might be gone tomorrow night. I would expect tomorrow night's a victory to be Paloma or Taylor. That's just my prediction. I think Terence is going to be safe. I think Brittany and Alyssa are probably going to be safe. So, yeah, I think it's going to be Paloma or, or Taylor who goes home tomorrow night. And I know for a fact who the audience wanted to be out of those two. Now a very uh, wholesome moment from Indy, not so much Paloma. There was a there was a conversation about uh, race, and it wasn't like anything distasteful. It was just like a kind of educational conversation. Um, and t- obviously Taylor was in the room, and Indy jumped in at one point when like Paloma was talking about uh, Taylor educating people, etc. And Indy jumped in and went, "No, it's not." basically Taylor's job to do that she uh, in essence and, and she was kind of saying you know if you don't know go to google the father of stupid people which I thought was the amazing one line that we've had this season so far and she said it's up to everybody else to educate themselves it's not up to Taylor it's not up to African-American people to, uh, to to educate people on the matters it's up to people themselves who aren't that race and I just love that so, so much, seeing Indy say that out loud and, and educating everybody else there. It was amazing. I loved, loved, loved that moment for a season that's been quite depressing so far. To see a wholesome educational moment like that um, was absolutely flipping amazing. I am just, yeah. Paloma later went on to say that Taylor should start a podcast called like Educating America or something like that. Literally after Indy had said that, totally defeating the object of it. Um, I don't think Taylor took offence to it or anything like that, but... It just shows you how Paloma just lives in her own little world. And she th- she seems to think, or she comes across at least, like everything evolves around her. But Indy has gone up in my estimations there. I am really getting a lot of respect for her and I like Indy a lot. Now another legendary moment from Indy who was f- uh, quickly becoming one of my firm favourites. She was talking to Alyssa saying, uh, Paloma, she was putting in perspective as if she was talking to her saying, you talk so much and uh you know i know you're only 22 and everything like that and you know just shut your mouth and i was just thinking 
This is so, so cool. I am rooting for Indy so, so much now. She is realising that Paloma is basically full of... And uh, she's telling people about it. And I think Alyssa's paranoid as well because they kind of had a little bit of a conversation the other day about how they think everybody's talking to Paloma. And Alyssa was saying she was paranoid the other day. Um, and now she was laughing when uh, when Indy was saying all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's just, you know, the, the girls being catty with one another, but it doesn't feel like that. Indy seems like somebody, if she's got a problem, she's going to say it to your face. And that's what I love about Indy. And I'm starting to like her a lot more. And I think Alyssa might actually be starting to realise that Paloma isn't all she's cracked up to be. Hence the intervention and hence laughing at what Indy said there um I would say Paloma's definitely going to be out sooner rather than later at this point that is all of your live feed updates for today folks I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching please let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below as we had a little bit more of a positive update today that was nice the negativity is still there indeed the fact that the effects of this week are going to correlate on I've got a squeaky chair there folks um uh, the fact that the uh, the actions are going to correlate into the eviction in regards to Taylor going home, but let's just hope the backstage boss twist mixes things up, saves Taylor and gets her into power for next week, and then the season might actually be saved just a small amount. And people are starting to see the, the you know, Paloma's true side and turning, so I, I don't know, I feel like, you know, let's try and be optimistic, folks, and, uh, and hope that things can turn around. But thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate every single last one of you. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below, like I said. Make sure that you're staying safe, staying positive, and staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. But in the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do all of that good stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.